everyone, it's Nina and I'm here today to share with you a card featuring a lot of masking and distress ink blending. And today I'm featuring this beautiful stamp set from Create a Smile. This is called Time to Say Thanks. I'm going to be using all of these little leaves here to create a nice background. We're also going to be using some distress inks. You can see here I've got scattered straw, cracked pistachio band and coral, seedless preserves and twisted citron. We're going to be using these to do our stamping and also our ink blending. So I'm starting off by stamping all of my leaves across the uh, paper here. I wanted a thicker cardstock to do all of my ink blending and coloring. So here you can see I'm using each of my different colors to stamp all of these leaves randomly across this paper here. I'm heat embossing them with clear embossing powder as I do each one because uh, Distress Ink is still wet when you stamp it so it holds the embossing powder really well um, right away. So if you if you wait too long, it'll dry out and it won't stick as well. So that's why I'm doing it in stages and doing them, uh, embossing them each at a time as I stamp each leaf. So you see, I just keep repeating this. I love the cracked pistachio in color. It's one of my favorites. That and peacock feathers. Teals are one of my favorite colors, so I always gravitate to those. So here you can see I've stamped all of my images out. I'm taking some fine line masking fluid and I'm going to start applying this around the edges of all of my leaves. I'm not going to cover the entire background just because it's going to take a lot of masking fluid to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I get all of the edges around each of my leaf masked off and then I'll just mask off any other areas as I need to when I'm doing my ink blending later on and I'll just use some sticky notes to do that. So when you're applying the masking fluid, you want to take it slow and move carefully. And this is very fluid, of course, as the name suggests. So it's going to move around very easily until it starts to set. I waited quite a few hours for this to dry. I took a lot of um, masking fluid to do this. And now I'm bringing in my ink colors now that it's dry. I'm adding some sticky notes to mask off any areas that I don't want um, inked. And I'm just going to start adding in my color. I'm using cracked pistachio on top of this. And then I'm going to bring in my darker color of Distress Ink, which is going to be Evergreen Bow. And I wanted to add some shading with these leaves. It's going to be very simple coloring, but adding the extra shading really helped pop them off a little bit. So that's why you can see here I'm adding in that Evergreen Bow, just to darken up those edges and give it a bit more extra dimension. So let's blend that out. And I'm also making sure I leave a good white highlight on each leaf just to make sure that it has uh, that extra bit of pop and dimension. So I'm going to keep adding my Distress Ink colors. You can see I'm adding in all of my green colors right now, the, the uh, Cracked Pistachio and Evergreen Bow. And I'll keep working on. So I'm going to keep doing the same process and I'll let you watch the coloring and then I'll come back when we go to finish up the rest of the card. Okay, so now that we've got everything all colored, I'm move using my finger to peel off this masking fluid. You'll want to move carefully as you're doing this as well because you can rip the paper if you move too hard. Just work at it a little bit and pull at a time. You can use an adhesive eraser too if you'd like, but I found that using my fingers was actually the best way to get this off. Another thing to mention is that I used the watercolor paper in particular because I was going to be doing this masking fluid pen. And the masking fluid in particular, the fine lime, uh, does not work well with cardstock. It peel, it rips the cardstock. Uh, there are other masking fluids that will work with cardstock, but this one is not one of them. So here I've got a piece of transparency. 
that I'm going to be doing some stamping on. I'm using the Wish Stamp from Make-A-Wish. I'm going to be stamping this down onto my transparency here using Versamark ink. And then once I've got this all stamped out, I'm going to take my black embossing powder and I'm going to heat emboss this sentiment using the transparency. And you might have noticed I used my embossing powder tool so that way I could get any static off of this transparency and it worked very, very well. I didn't have any two straight uh, pieces and it stamped beautifully. So here you can see I'm heating up the embossing powder. I'm removing the transparency from the heat uh, every couple seconds just to let it cool off and not warp and it helps to keep your transparency nice and flat. So here I'm now taking my fine tip scissors and I'm just fussy cutting out the letters here, leaving a border around it. And this is, works great for uh, helping pop off the sentiment from your card. So here I've added the wish sentiment onto my card here with some foam tape. I popped some black foam tape behind the black portions of the sentiment and it hid perfectly. And I also stamped another greeting, which is from that same Make-A-Wish stamp set, onto some vellum. And here I'm using some Pretty Pink Posh clear droplets and added a bit of sparkle to my card using some Winko Stella glitter. So I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to stop over at the Create a Smile blog where you can get more pictures as well as products used. And thanks again so much for stopping by. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon.